guys welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well today i am doing another room decor video which i love filming these room decor and curating like a specific vibe to your room is very important to me because i feel like the state of my room reflects like literally like the state of my mind like my mental state at the moment so i love making it very aesthetic and clean and just like very pretty because i feel like it really like affects me mentally and if you get it you get it but i'm going to be showing you ways to make your room more pinterest worthy and coquette and vintagey some of them on a budget some of them a little more expensive some of them just like tips on like how to arrange things and you know stuff like that so i'll try to link everything that i mentioned down below in the description box the first item on my list this might be one of the most important things because it is a bedroom so you have a bed which is probably the biggest piece of furniture you have in your room and i think your bedding can make a huge difference and an impact in your room it was sponsored by everlasting fabric and they did just send me the prettiest duvet cover in the world i'm so obsessed with it and i feel like it totally made such a big impact in my room it's like this gorgeous 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 floral bedding i think it's so pretty they have a ton of different duvet covers and bedding sets on their website a lot of them are like these really pretty vintagey floral patterns like the one that i have they also have like a pink and white floral they have a blue and white floral they also have other patterns like gingham stripes they just came out with like this really cute teddy bear one so you definitely want to check them out they have other furniture and decor and like loungewear on their website if you want to go check that out i'm going to Leave them as the top link in the description box down below. The quality of the bedding is so good. I totally underestimated how much it can affect like your sleep if you're actually sleeping with like a good quality fabric and this definitely is. And it's also a small business, which is always a plus for me. So definitely check them out. Thank you again to Everlasting for sending me this bedding. It is so beautiful and I'm obsessed. Now onto the rest of the video. Okay, the next thing is something that I'm actually currently working on in my room. And this is another like, bigger picture item which is a gallery wall i'll kind of like insert some pictures on pinterest that i'm personally getting inspo from for mine but the way that i'm starting is just kind of looking around in antique stores and thrift shops and looking at different vintage prints and different like frames and stuff that i think would incorporate nicely and i like to i want to have like a mixture of like a bunch of different stuff so it's gonna be something that i'm working on over time and i already have like a bunch of stuff that i've been collecting over the years as well so I'll probably mostly be using stuff like that but I also feel like this is something that you can easily like DIY and kind of make yourself. You can go on Pinterest and download pictures that you really like and like print them out literally for free. You can hang like dried roses on the wall. You can get like music sheets that you don't use maybe and like put kiss prints on them or something like that and put those on the wall. You can like type out a love letter, put a kiss print on it, put that on the wall. I feel like there's so many different things you can do with this and a lot of it again is like you can DIY it and you can literally do an entire gallery wall for free basically or really cheap if you look in thrift stores and stuff like that and I also feel like it's a really like fun thing to do so I am working on that for myself I am going to be doing like an updated room tour pretty soon so you guys will probably see that then next is a super simple and small thing which is candles specifically like vintage looking candle bras like this one you can find these on Amazon but you can also find really cool ones at antique store that are very unique and like high quality this is just like a cheaper one. I also like to get, you know, candlesticks to put in them. Obviously mine are almost out, so I need to get some more. But I really like using pink candlesticks as well as red and of course like white as well, depending on the vibe that you're going for. But I feel like candles are just like the perfect way to make your room more aesthetic and more cozy. And it's a really easy thing to do and it's also pretty cheap as well. Next thing. This is something that I have recently incorporated into my room and I did not realize how much of a big difference it makes. I recently bought some lace curtains on Amazon. It was only $10. It's just like a one strand. Of, it's basically like a curtain, not curtains. Like it's just one piece of fabric, if that makes sense. But I love the way it looks. I feel like it sort of like transformed this side of my room a little bit. Before I just had plain white ones. And the lace just adds so much of like a vintage like grandma vibe. Like I love it. Like my grandma would totally have these in her house. And that's like always the vibe that I'm going for. You can also take a ribbon and like tie it around everywhere. You can tie ribbon around your curtains. Literally go to the craft store, get a roll of ribbon, whether it's pink, red, white, whatever color you have in your room, doesn't really matter what it is. I'm just kind of going off of like coquette vintage vibes. You know what I mean? But say if your color is like blue, you get like blue ribbon. You can tie that ribbon around anywhere, girl. Like you can put it on your curtains. You can tie a little ribbon around your headboard. You can do it 
like just different spots around your room you could do like some ribbon around your lamp there's just so many different things you can do with a ribbon and it's like a two dollar roll from the craft store and you can just add like these cute little details you know next thing i could not do this video without mentioning my wallpaper in my room it's one of my favorite parts of my room and i only have one accent wall and i feel like that's enough to make a statement it is a wall printed wallpaper i think it's so beautiful i think it's subtle it goes with everything because it's still like neutral toned i also love utilizing uh, like a floral printed wallpaper floral and twill. i feel like that's the two like main ones that look gorgeous as a wallpaper mine is from wayfair wayfair has like a ton of different wallpaper options you can also do like a peel and stick option if you're in an apartment or something or somewhere that you're living temporarily or something like that like it makes such a huge difference in a room it's a little bit harder to put up i will say but it's definitely worth it. Next is like any kind of pedestal or column. These are nice because they're very, you know, skinny and I feel like you can put them in like different corners of your room, move it around. And it's really good if you're reutilizing like a smaller space as well. Like for mine right now, it's like, it's being used as like a little bit of a side table, but sometimes I put it in the corner of my room with like a stack of books on it, or I put it in another corner and I have like a jewelry box on it or something like that. It's very, um malleable like you can use it in a lot of different ways so i feel like that's a really good thing i got mine from hobby lobby you can also find these at like antique stores thrift stores or anything like that next this is kind of more specific but i feel like everyone needs a gold a vintage gold framed mirror like the one i have here i did find mine at an antique store of course i feel like that's where you can really find like the high quality unique looking ones I absolutely love my mirror. It's probably one of my favorite like decor items that I have in my room. I think it's so beautiful. It makes a statement. It has the vintage vibe, but it like fits in to any space as well. They're also really good things to incorporate into a gallery wall. I also put kiss marks on mine. I don't know if you guys can see from here, but I think they look really cute and it kind of personalizes it and makes it your own. You can also like tie ribbon around it, anything like that. Um, but yeah, you can also find like cheaper ones or smaller ones on Amazon as well. I do have like an Amazon storefront with a bunch of different like room decor themed items that are like this or fit this aesthetic and I will be putting that in the description box below. Just because I know not everyone has access to like antique stores or thrift stores in your area. Next thing is something super easy that a lot of people already have, which is to utilize the books that you already have as decor items, basically. So I do have a bookshelf in my room, which I love, and I think it just like says a lot about a person when you can like really see all the books that they have in their room and they're all on display and you can put bookends in with the bookshelf and really kind of make it your own but i also like taking a few books making like little stacks of them like i always have like a little like pink and red stack that kind of floats around in different spaces of my room but i think that's a really like cute and pretty thing to do it also you know takes some of the books out of the bookshelves and has them in like a little special spot of your own or maybe like some of your favorite books in one stack or something like that you can definitely utilize and decor if you put it like on your desk or your bedside table or anything like that i think it's a really cute thing to do okay next this is also something that a lot of people might already have which is any kind of like teddy bear or stuffed animal on your bed i feel like this is like such a cute thing to do you don't have to be a little kid to have stuffed animals on your bed i have a teddy bear on my bed and i like to put a little pink ribbon around him as well i feel like it looks super cute and coquette and hopefully you have one of these laying around from your childhood that you could bring out and put on your bed just make sure to wash it or something before you do because a lot of those like things that you have in storage are going to have like bed bugs or something and yeah we don't we don't want any of that okay next this is a good one this is a really good one any kind of like vinyls or records or a record player maybe i'm on the hunt for a record player right now i really want to get like a dark red one so i'm waiting until i find the perfect one but i do have a few vinyls and i like to use them as decor in my room you can set them up on your desk you can set them up on your side table again just like little things to prop up and i think stuff like that is really cool especially if you are like a big music person you can really kind of use them to put more personality into your room and really show like your own personal interests and just like have those on display basically okay next tip is to go to a thrift store go to an antique store and look at like their little trinkets that they have laying around and try to find those for a really good price i always find them especially at goodwill and like charity shops like that they have stuff like this for super duper cheap like everything's usually like three dollars or less when i go of course it depends on like where you live and everything but i have found like really pretty jewelry boxes and just like little statues that i think go perfectly in my room i think these can make great bookends you can put them on your pedestal you can put them on your desk on top of your bookshelf 
whatever or uh, book stack is what I meant to say. You can use them for so many different things. You can move them around. One thing about me is I'm always rearranging things in my room. So I feel like, like I'll I'll get in like a funk where like I feel unproductive and I'm just like, okay, my bed needs to go to the other side of the room. I'm always rearranging things. And I feel like that's a good thing to do because it's like you can change up your room without actually have to buying new things, especially if you have like little trinkets that you just move around. You move your bed to the other side of the room. You move your side table to the end of your bed. You know, just like random things like that before you go and buy a bunch of stuff. Like maybe just try rearranging, you know? You never know. Next, I think this is a good tip if you don't have the means to make your entire room like perfectly how you want it is to really just focus on like a corner of your room or just your desk or like just your bedding or just like your bedside table. Like just like having one spot in your room where you feel like is perfect and really just honing in on that can do a lot for you i feel like it can make a big difference again like i said like you might not be able to do your entire room all at once but if you just focus on making your desk really pretty or doing a really cute gallery wall next to your desk or something like that where it's just like you have a little corner of your room that you love i think that's really important to do and again you can do that on a budget as well i think i already mentioned this a little bit earlier in the video but kiss marks everywhere especially if you're going for that more coquette vibe this is a really easy thing to do you just need a lipstick and lips and you just kiss everything like um uh, i'm gonna do this on my gallery wall but i'm going to i bought some really cheap music from a used bookstore like music sheets piano music and i'm gonna put like kiss marks on them and then put them on my wall it's gonna be really cute i also put kiss marks on my mirror you can put you can literally do it on anything that you please it's your own stuff you know people People like to get up in arms when they see kiss marks and they don't want them to be there, but it's like, it's your own stuff. You should do whatever you want to do with it. But again, that's something you can do that's like very personalized and pretty, I think. Another thing, this is so easy, is flowers. Because number one, they look really pretty in a vase on your desk or bedside table or something like that, but also you can dry them out and then hang them on your walls like as hanging wallflower decor. Also, I'm really into tulips right now. Like, I feel like I'm gonna do dry roses for my gallery wall, but right now for this vase moment, I feel like tulips are the vibe, especially pink tulips. I just feel like they're so cute and Pinterest worthy. Another thing I love to do is putting up twinkle lights. I literally just use white Christmas lights and I put them around my bookcase, around my mirror, not this mirror, but my other mirror. I have like four mirrors in my room. It's kind of a problem. I need to like really hone in and get rid of one of them, but that's what we're working with right now but you can put them on on your bed like on your headboard around your window anything like that twinkle lights just make your room 10 times cozier and i feel like everyone needs them i don't 100 percent love the way they look sometimes but i feel like it's worth it for the cozy vibes you know sometimes you have to make those sacrifices i think i got everything i feel like i ran through that super duper fast but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys got some good tips i'm gonna try to link everything that i mentioned down below a lot of my stuff is like antique or vintage but i'll do what i can i'll try to put some like dupes or something like that down in the description box i do have pinterest obviously i have instagram and tiktok all of it is just romney ellen r-o-m-n-e-y-e-l-l-e-n on every social platform i will have them a link down below make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you want to see more content like this i think that's everything i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this and i'll see you next time bye yeah.